What's going on guys? My name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to do uh, tribal shapes in Illustrator. Dread Labs. So we got our artboard up in here. Um, I'm going to put my foreground color to black and I'm going to show you in a really quick way to uh, how to uh, make your tribal shapes basically. So you're going to grab an ellipse and with this ellipse you're going to just uh, draw out a an ellipse. And then you're going to uh, hold all or option and duplicate it. And then you're going to rotate this and reshape it a bit. So what we want to achieve here is uh, we want these to be overlapped. So in so in a, in a way that we can use this part as a tribal shape or this part. Uh, if you put these to outline, uh, it's actually you can actually get a better view. Um, but you want this to be this middle part here. Uh, you don't. Uh, you want it to be increasing in width. So, um, if it would be like this, it will be a little bit too thick in my opinion. And like this, you can get like a more sharp uh, form. But here, it's just too uh, too fat in my opinion. So let's just select these both and then go to our shape builder tool. And while holding Alt or Option, you can see the minus up on our cursor right now. I'm gonna drag in these two which deletes them. Okay, now we have this one shape. Let's just do that a couple more times with some other uh, ellipses. And for example, with this one, you can actually see that this doesn't really look that good as a tribal shape. And the reason for that is because there is, uh, there's not enough increase in width basically, and there's not enough curve in my opinion. Um, so what you wanna do is increase this shape a bit more in width and well, just experiment with the sh experiment with uh, the the result that you get, um, and I feel like this one's going on for too long. So what I will do is I'm gonna increase the size a bit, like this. Now we're gonna use our shape builder again, and now we can, for example, use this one in here. So uh, what we can do now is I uh, just want to make sure that this part is over over uh, this part so uh, we don't these don't intersect anymore in this section and now I just want to go and um, my shape builder tool and remove this part and this part and um, to just make some more uh, cutouts what I want to do is grab a ellipse and because this line is kind of curved uh, what we can do with this one is we're going to go to effects warp and click on arc and what we're going to do is we're going to go vertical and we want to make the arc just ever so slightly uh, you want to make this ellipse ever so slightly more curved uh, as you can see here and when you go to object expand appearance you can actually use this and now we can rotate this a bit over the top here and when you select both of these, you can just cut it out like this. So uh, just a quick reminder, I'm not an expert on this. This is just the way I approach uh, my design work. So if there is actually, uh, is there, if there is an actual way of doing this, uh, I don't actually, I don't know them. Uh, I'm just trying to help and show you my work ethic. So um, just to make one go in this direction, I'm gonna add an ellipse in here and we're going to duplicate it again and let's see if we can make the cutout any good because uh, I actually prefer drawing these uh, instead of doing them in Illustrator um, but there were some people uh, wondering if this can be done in Illustrator without a drawing tablet so I just wanted to show you guys that you actually, that you actually can um, so now we can remove this part as well and this smaller part in here uh, another thing that you can do uh, with these is um, I'm gonna make another ellipse and what I want to do is I want to make sure that the lines are kind of almost intersecting with um, 
uh, with the the actual shape that we're going to use here and then we're going to also use a bigger ellipse uh, what we want to do is we're going to use this uh, middle smaller circle to cut it out of this shape and add this part to um, to the main tribal shape um, so that's easier I'm just gonna show you because it's a little bit easier so we're gonna select all our shapes remove this one remove this one remove this one remove this one and this one and if we make all of our shapes uh, in a solid color right now you can actually see that this is already starting to look like a tribal shape. In this shape, there's, the balance is a bit off, as you can see. The line here is uh, super thin, and this is kind of get, getting kind of thick. Uh, so what I would uh, want to do in these scenarios is make sure that you punch out a whole lot of the fatness of these shapes, basically. So, for example, uh, if you select all of these, and we'll get, grab our shape builder again. And just removing any excess body of this tribal shape that you won't need anymore. So yeah, and then you can also cut stuff out with a actual circle. And as you can see, it's already starting to take a bit more form. And when kind of using uh, these kind of ellipses to cut stuff out, I want always try to make sure that the upper and uh, lower points of my shape so these two uh, aren't intersecting with my uh, shape here um, so as an added bonus uh, on how to mirror these in a quick way is we're gonna go and make a rectangle which will be 50% of the width uh, of our canvas and we're gonna grab our group here I'm gonna make sure that it's inside this canvas or inside this rectangle um, and we can make uh, I'll leave the rectangle um, with a stroke right now so you can see what we're actually doing um, we're gonna group these and with the group selected I want to go to uh, effect distort and transform and transform and then we're gonna mark reflect X and with the horizontal option I want to make uh, type minus 1500 because my canvas is 3000 by 3000 so um, uh, minus um, half of my canvas basically and then we're going to click on copies one like this and now it's kind of weird because it's rotated all the other way around but if I would be and now I when I dive into this group I would be cha putting this somewhere else it would just be mirrored um, so what I would like to do, what I like to do now is lock the, um, well, turn off the, the appearance. So remove the stroke here, and then lock this in place. So now we can only use this one, but it will still be mirrored uh, when we go into isolation mode. Um, so you can do like uh, symm symmetrical uh, tribal shapes. So uh, once you're done with this effect, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to outside of isolation mode, and you want to select these and then you want to go to object uh, expand appearance and as this looks kind of weird now because we rotated this uh, earlier uh, you want to go to object transform reset bounding box and now you have your sync uh, now you have your symmetrical uh, group and you want to align it because sometimes it misaligns it and there we have it we have our um, tribal shape with only done with the ellipses, uh, the shape builder and some symmetrical uh, options. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, the file for this will be available on Patreon and uh, if you want have any suggestions for tutorials, please uh, leave them in the comments below or join us on Discord and I'll see you in the next video.